a German dish with a Portuguese twist. Let's make Portuguese rice flesh on Cambridge Foods by Isaac. As our first ingredient, uh, right up front we have a sausage. Uh, what we're using today is Portuguese chorizo, uh, not to be confused with Spanish chorizo. Uh, very similar, but you can use any sausage that you like. Uh, behind that we have some Smart Balance Organic Light Butter. Again, use any type of butter you'd like to use, light butter preferable for lower calories. Uh, on top of that we have two cups of white rice. Again, any rice that you prefer to use is fine. We have next to that a large green bell pepper. Next to that we have about three cloves of minced garlic. And uh, behind that we have the uh, paprika that we're going to use to spice it up and some chicken broth that we're going to pour to uh, cook this all in the pressure cooker really fast in about six minutes. Okay folks, I'm back. I have my veggies and my meat all diced up. I got the pressure cooker heating up right now as we speak. So I'm just going to zoom in here so you can see me adding the ingredients and how I cook this. Um, I'm going to start off now that the pressure cooker is getting hot. I am going to add about a teaspoon of butter to this just to get things going. Ooh, listen to that sizzle. And this is just so that we can fry our um, veggies before we actually cook all the rice and add all the other good stuff. So that should be done in about a second. Now to this we're going to add our onions. And next we're going to add our green pepper. What we're going to do is just stir this around a little bit and kind of break up those onion layers. And this only takes a couple of minutes. We just want to make sure that the onions get caramelized, that the green pepper gets a little softened up. And then once it does, we're going to add our garlic and our carrots. It's starting to smell really good in here. Let's give that a moment. Now while this is cooking, I'm just going to grab my other uh, items. We're going to add our garlic. And you see here, here's our minced up garlic. Let's add that in. Love, love, love garlic. If you love garlic like I do, you can always add a little more to the mix. Just stir that around a little. Again, you hear that great sizzle. And look at all that steam. The camera can barely take it. I'm going to add in my carrots now. Give that a good shake. Okay. Stir these things around. Just for about a minute or so. You can see this is mostly a vegetable dish. The only meat I'm adding now is the uh, chorizo, the Portuguese sausage. What's incredible, I was counting the calories on this, uh, trying to get a total. And what was amazing is the rice has more calories than the chorizo does. The two cups of rice equal, uh, let's see, I wrote it down. 
For two cups of rice equals 1,280 calories. That's insane. The stick of sharif is only 420 calories. This entire meal, the entire pot when it's done, will come out to about 1,864 calories. Now you divide that, depending on how big a portion you want to eat, if you divide this into four feet, uh, portions, it'll equal about 466 calories. Or if you go smaller and do maybe six portions, it'll cut it down to 310 calories. So, great option without going crazy with the calories. I'm going to add in the charisse now. And again, there goes that light. And you see here, I just cut it into cubes. Or actually quarters, I should say. And actually, that green pepper that I showed you was so huge, I only ended up putting half of it into this dish. Half is really all you need. Now, this charisse is already smoked and cured. I mean, it is, does need to be cooked. But I'm only going to fry it up for a second because we're going to be, we'll look at all that great caramelization starting on the bottom of the pan there. Trying to get that all mixed in. Now before anything starts to burn, it looks like these are starting to get a little dark. What I'm going to do now is add the rice. So again, this is just two cups of white rice. Sprinkle it all around. And we're going to add two cups, that's two cups of the chicken stock. So let's pour that in. And that quieted things down a bit, didn't it? Let's just give this a good stir and mix it all together. Make sure that's all incorporated. Okay, looking good. And now what I'm gonna do is just add the paprika. Now what I do with the paprika is I just open the lid where you get the little uh, filtered slots there. And I'm just gonna go tap once around. That should be plenty. I don't even know if that's a tablespoon. It's probably more like a teaspoon and a half or so. You can always add more, but if you add too much, the paprika really packs a punch. So just add gradually. You can always stir some in later because we all have different levels of heat that we enjoy. I like my stuff super hot and spicy, but not everybody does. And the charisse that I'm using is actually hot, spicy charisse too. So we'll just leave that now. So now that's it. All the ingredients are mixed in there. All I'm going to do now is put on the lid, set it for six minutes, and I will call, uh, bring you back to the scene when it's ready to eat. So here we go. Just going to put my lid on really quick. Make sure it's set to trap in that heat. Now all pressure cooker settings are different. I'm just going to set mine. It's no point in teaching you because they're all different. But uh, let me see here. Six minutes. So we're going to set this for six minutes and we will return when it's all set. Okay folks, it's been about six minutes cooking time. Time for the big reveal. First thing with the pressure cooker you have to do is release the steam. So watch this. So let all that pressure come out. It takes a couple of minutes. But all of that good flavor has been in there, infusing all the, the meat and the spices and the veggies all into that rice with that chicken stock. This is going to be so, so good. It's one of my absolute favorite meals to make in a fresh cooker. I have a few others I'll be showing you in future episodes. And uh, let's see here, looks like we're almost done. It's getting quiet. Okay, and the safety valve just released. Let's give it a go. Woohoo!
All right, so here it is, completely cooked. Just going to fluff up that rice a little bit. Look at all that steam releasing. You can see how soft all the veggies got. Carrots loosened up in there. Our meat's perfectly cooked and tender. Let's just mix all that around. Doesn't that look yummy? So let's see here. And again, at this point, you could add some salt, um, add some more paprika if you think it needs it. I'm actually gonna grab a little spoon and give this a taste. See if I need to season this anymore. Just grab it. Yeah, let me dig in here. Super hot, don't wanna melt my mouth off. Hmm. Um, actually, I think it's fine the way it is. So let me just plate this up and I'll give you a nice presentation. I decided to scoop this out and make six servings just to see what it would look like. Remember earlier I said you could have anywhere from four to six servings. So by doing six servings here, you cut this meal down to about 310 calories per serving, give or take. Remember, as far as sodium, other things go, it all depends on the ingredients that you're gonna use but it's about a safe figure to use, about 310 calories. So some people think that um, living on the Cambridge diet, you go hungry, you go deprived. Let me ask you, does this look deprived to you? Let me see if I can zoom in here and get you a better picture. I'll take that any day. So anyway, folks, that's it. That's the Portuguese version of German Reifleisch. And now that you've seen how good it looks, it's time to eat. Mm. Awesome. Hey guys, one last tip. Um, if you are not gonna eat all this rice flesh, it also freezes very well. Just wanted to give you a quick tip on how you can uh, freeze things in your Tupperware and keep those uh, frozen crystals away. I learned this from watching another YouTube video, but I wanna share this with you. So all you do is you make sure that your uh, food is tucked away nice and flat in the container. You're gonna get some plastic wrap, and what you're gonna do is push it down on top of the food. You're actually gonna touch the food with it. And again, try to keep it flat. Make sure it touches against the walls of the container, the plastic wrap. And then you just kind of stuff it in like a neat little package. And this will greatly cut down on the little frozen crystals that develop when you put items in the freezer. Nice little tip, put the lid on and you've got one serving frozen, ready to warm up anytime you're ready. Okay guys, thanks for watching, have a great day.